The NYPD on patrol tonight at the Manhattanville houses in West Harlem. Enough is enough. We gotta put these guns down, young people. Robert Rice, the NYPD's clergy liaison, speaking to the residents there earlier in the day. Senior citizens that told me in this development that they are afraid to walk the street, to go to the supermarket because they're afraid that they're gonna get shot by a straight bullet. Rice speaking out after another NYPD officer is shot, the seventh since the start of 2022. Police say the off duty officer was shot Saturday at the community center at 3250 Broadway. The Housing Bureau officer was leaving a vigil when two men were firing bullets and he was hit in the foot. Rice says he visited the officer in the hospital yesterday. You know, he's a little upset that that happened to him, but, you know, once we got there, you know, he felt comfortable with the clergy. He was happy to see clergy and we prayed with him. Former NYPD chief and now Suffolk County Police Commissioner Rodney Harrison was emotional Sunday. I have two daughters that have joined the, the ranks of the NYPD. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm scared. Every time they walk out the door, I make sure I give them a hug and give them a kiss because I'm going to I'm concerned about them coming home. This gathering on Long Island showing support for the law enforcement community. We don't fly around with capes that kids think about. We walk the streets and we protect you at night when you sleep. That's what heroes do.